Oh, here we go, baby. Oh, yeah. Let's go, baby. On the money, 100K? 100,000 subscribers? For me? For, for this guy? Now that, that's worth a water sip. And I would have a label on here if a water company would just sponsor me. I mean, come on, we have six figures now, baby. You gotta give me something. Also, fun fact, the floor, like every time I walk in, the floor like creaks, so I gotta find the right spot to step. Can you hear that? So every time I do intros, I always step there and I'm like, it's so annoying. I've always wanted to tell you guys that, but yeah, so I have to like step over it. But here we are, man, 100K and we're still in front of this white wall that everybody gives me shit. Like, like my head's gonna hit it every time. <laughs> I can't even begin to thank you guys enough. I got so much exciting stuff coming soon. I got um, I got merch dropping. I got water merch finally dropping. Here's one design that I'm gonna release. I have multiple other designs that are going to drop. So let me know if you guys want t-shirts or, I don't know, I'll do everything. T-shirts, long sleeves. As time goes on, I'm not really in a rush, but I hope that you guys cop this because I, this is one of my favorite designs. I don't even know what to say. I, I made a video at 10,000 subscribers, which is right here. Um, that kind of told you guys about my introduction to YouTube and how I got into YouTube and how I got into the position that I'm in. And honestly, that video, all the information in that video is still very relevant. The only thing that's different now is I got better at making videos. I had some videos that have some more views and I stopped covering emo rap. That's pretty much like the only thing different. So if you want to know about how I got like my start on YouTube, that's a really good video to go to. But today I, I actually want to talk about before me getting into YouTube and kind of what I was doing, what I was going through, uh, hopefully for some inspiration for maybe some of you out there who have a personal goal or maybe if you're going through a rough time because hitting 100K for me is like probably the biggest thing I've ever done. To be honest, a lot of you guys don't know a lot about me. It's not like I just started YouTube and then I was successful. I did so many different things and failed so many different times. The first thing that I ever tried to do when I was 16 years old was sell weed. <laughs> so there goes all my chances of ever being a cop or probably getting a real job in the real world. So hopefully YouTube works out. <laughs> Growing up, it wasn't the easiest for me. I didn't have the best home life. Um, I grew up kind of lower middle class, like the bills were paid and everything, but I had a, a, a rough family life. In high school, I was very lost and I made so many mistakes selling weed, obviously being one of the bigger ones. Um, I didn't do it for that long. I did it for like three months, um, but it doesn't represent me as like an entrepreneur. It more so represents me doing stupid stuff in my life. I, I think that maybe, you know, a lot of kids might be in that position right now that watch me. Growing up was really, really tough for me in high school and I was going through a lot of stuff and I was really lost all those four years. I mean, I had a really solid group of friends that I still talk to today, which like, I, I don't know where I would be without them. And then, yeah, when I, I was working at this job when I was 17 and I was stealing a lot of shit. Nowadays, I realize like why I was doing it, but like back then I, I had no idea. I was stealing from the job that I was working for. Which, like, obviously now, you know, anybody who's older would be like, that's the dumbest thing you could ever do. I wasn't, like, a thief. I, I, I wasn't stealing from people. I wasn't doing really criminal activity. I was just, like, stealing from my job, like, stupid things, like shirts and stuff that I didn't need. And, you know, eventually I got popped and I got in a lot of trouble. And I spent a lot of summers paying all that stuff back. Thankfully, I wasn't 18 or else I could have potentially gotten in trouble and probably would have had a criminal record, but thankfully I don't have that. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you kids out there, you know, maybe you're going through something similar or, you know, maybe there's just something, you know, your family life, you don't have friends, you don't have someone you could talk to, you don't have much, you know, and I was that kid, I was that same kid. And um, I, I messed up a lot. And, and honestly, the, the only thing that made me change was myself. It's not even like I had anybody do anything for me. I, I just kind of eventually sat down and I was like, all right, well, I can't be doing this. I can't be stealing shit. I can't be selling weed. I can't be doing this. I need to figure out something with my life. When I when it was time to go to college, I just went to community college because I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I, I got decent grades, but I didn't want to go away to school. So I was like, all right, I'll just 
So I'll just go to community college. But that's actually where I started making music. And a lot of you guys know that um, I used to produce electronic music and actually built like quite a little following doing that. Um, but that was the first thing that I fell in love with. And that was the first thing that I got so obsessed with. I would go home and make music all day, every day. That's the only thing I did. I would go to school. I didn't have a girlfriend. A lot of my friends were away at school. So like all I did was just go to community college and go home and make music and like got so obsessed with it. And then during this time, uh, while I was DJing, I was also like selling tickets as a promoter. I was a, I was a show promoter and an event promoter. So I was like involved with the show EDM business. And then I was also like trying to become a producer DJ myself. So I got decent at making music. I got pretty good, I would say, but I never really built a following that was even close to like being able to become a career. And even though I was really obsessed with making music and, and I was really in love with it, things weren't better. You know what I mean? Like I, I was still really lost. I still didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I had really, really bad anxiety pretty much since I was like 16. You know, I've really only figured it out past couple years. I kind of learned to manage it, but I was going through it for, for a very long time. And music was always something that allowed me to escape. But if I wasn't making music, then it was bad. Literally anything else that I did, I was not having a good time. I was having panic attacks. I was just a super anxious kid. And then when I found something that I loved, which was music, I, it, all my problems went away, but only when I was doing it. Anyways, long story short, you guys know that I didn't end up making music and I didn't end up promoting shows and becoming a promoter, even though I spent years at it. I spent years, I spent like three years dedicating all of my time to that and not trying anything else. I was a junior in college. I had transferred to Rutgers at this point and that's all I did. And for a long time, I thought that that's what I was gonna do with my life. Until one day I just realized that it wasn't gonna happen. And that's where the story kind of continues into me starting a YouTube channel with my girlfriend at the time. And then just to kind of lump that in, I didn't start making YouTube videos until last February. Not the one that just passed, but the one before that. So February, 2018. At that point, I was two months away from graduating college two months and I decided to start a YouTube channel. This was my, la my last semester of my fourth year of college. I'm supposed to know what I wanna do with my life and I still have no idea. So I'm like, oh, I'll start a YouTube channel. Like, why not? Literally every adult ever would be like, that's the dumbest idea. Like, that's so dumb. You gotta start your life. You gotta get a job. You gotta figure out what you wanna do. Like, yet all I could think about was making videos and trying to become a YouTuber. So I spent all my time doing that literally all of it since last since that february i go through the summer which was last summer then i'm six months out of college my loans start coming in which are very very expensive i owe a lot of money and i told my dad i was like i want to try to do youtube full time i had 500 subscribers this was last october or maybe i had like 700 or something and i actually made a crazy pitch to him and he let me. Two months after I told my dad, like, I wanna go YouTube full time, I started gaining like thousands and thousands of subscribers. And then when February came, I hit 10K and I started making a little bit of money. And then March and April and May came and that's when I started being able to make like a full time living on YouTube, actually entirely because of the stream. So thank you to everybody that ever donated. By the time April, May came around, I pretty much knew that I would get into this position one day, I didn't know that it would happen this quick. I didn't know I would get 100K subscribers this quick, but I really just wanted to let you guys know that I wasn't like this success story. I'm not just like this guy who was successful. I, I was just like you. And I hate how cliche that sounds because it sounds so dumb, but I literally like, I had nothing figured out with my life. I was so lost and so just had nothing going for me before I started making making YouTube videos. Going into my last semester of college, 22 years old, or 21 years old, I was like the most lost I've ever been in my life. To be here, like where I'm at right now, is absolutely insane. And I feel like I just defeated, you know, all, all odds that were against me. YouTube is all I got and it's working out and it's because of you guys and it's crazy. I've never been the guy that like had anything figured out or had like anything good going for me. So like to be the guy now is, is just unbelievable. And, and I can't thank you guys enough. And I really, really just want to be like an example 
to you that like you can do whatever like thing that you think you can do you know you got to be realistic i was always very realistic with myself but if you're realistic with yourself like you can accomplish your goals i really am just like a normal kid and just like went for something and gave it all and like put everything that i had into it and got it nobody really like gave me anything and i always felt like i was working for myself and battling for myself and struggling because like when i was going through stuff i never went to doctors and never took any medication i just suffered and like nobody ever helped me other than like my friends who didn't even know that they were helping me because I never told them. That's where like my desire to help underground and underrated artists comes from because like I always wanted somebody to just like reach down and just be like, yo, I got you. Like, I'm going to help you. Like, here you go. Like my whole life, I've been waiting for that. To some degree, some people have done that for me in, in different aspects in my life. But I, I've always wanted to be that guy. No matter what video I'm uploading, no matter what you know, stupid, whatever I'm doing, the, the end goal is to always do that, is to just help and, and support, you know, somebody who doesn't have, like, the resources to be able to. Um, and, and that's where my drive comes from. Yeah, I'm sorry to get super deep on you guys, but I never really show myself as, like, a normal person on YouTube. I do on my Instagram or whatever, but I am, like, a normal guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just like you. I'm literally just like you but I just so happen to be like pretty good at making videos. That's it. <laughs> I can't thank you guys enough. I hope that you buy the merch. I hope that, you know, you guys subscribe to the Jota channel because I got some really, really cool stuff coming that way. And I just wanted to be very real with you for 100K because, <sighs> yeah, you know, I I'm just super thankful and I appreciate everything that you guys have done for me. So my name is Patrick. That's my name. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. I'm out. And drink some damn water, all right? Come on, you're, you're dehydrated after watching that video. I know you are. I am. My mouth is dry as shit.